Hey there, YouTubers. We got ourselves a coin pickup. Anyways, I picked this up today while I was at the post office. The old Canada set. 2024. Let's zoom in. There we go. All the other coins are normal with King Charles on the back, of course. But, yeah, we got the... We got the mascot, the mascot Looney, the old Canada, the beaver in a canoe. So that's a cool little set. But anyways, I got a few other pickups here. Just picked it up today in the mail. Gonna open up the box here. We'll see what we got. I don't know what kind of condition these coins or cases are in because from the site, the website I buy it from, it doesn't, they don't give you any pictures. They just will give you a little bit of detail on what's in it. They'll tell you if there's damage to the case or something, I don't know. I know I paid below. Below original price, like selling price, so actually quite a bit below original selling price, so I'm not expecting a whole lot. But we shall see here. We got okay, what do we got here? We got peanuts. Anybody for some peanuts? Maybe some bubble wrap. We can pop some bubbles. Alright. I got two penny rolls. I picked them up for the simple fact they were young Elizabeth. Zoom, zoom. So they're young Elizabeth and these, you know, of course, a little bit of discoloration on some. This is a F64, and this is a 1963 uncirculated BU. See a little spotting on them, but well, we'll look at them another time. See what kind of condition they're in. They should be all right. And what do we got here? We got a 1971 set. That's one of the sets I was missing. I'm just trying to get some of the sets that I'm missing, so. That's a 1971 Proof Lake set. So now I can tick off that year. And we also picked up. 1970 and of course this was kind of a low mintage year so another proof like set I thought I had the 1771 but according to my paperwork I didn't so I do now And then a 1981 Proof Lake set. Of course, there's your certificate in these. Oh. So look here, 1981. Nice and shiny. So far, the condition of these all look pretty good. And, and we got 1984 in a case. Case is in half decent condition. And 
And this here is a proof double dollar set. So some sweet coins in there. The Toronto coin, that's 50% silver. So it actually looks pretty good. It looks like maybe it might have a little toning around the edge of it. But yeah, that looks pretty nice. All these proof like sets I paid flat. Yeah. Anywhere from five to nine dollars below original cost. So and here's another one. Case looks in great condition. 85. And there we go. We can see some toning on that. Silver dollar. Eighteen eighty-five to nineteen eighty-five. That's the National Parks, fifty percent silver, and of course your proof like coins. Sweet, I think so far. I think this was a great little pickup. Another one, another proof, proof set. 87 case is in nice shape yeah. actually this case doesn't have a snap on it so I guess maybe they discontinued the snap oh yeah it's completely different different inside the case there it's a little bit different so anyways or is it hang on give me a sec I'm just rambling on no it's the same it's just it just doesn't have a snap to it. It doesn't look like the snap was broken off, so I don't know. Maybe they discontinued the snap. But yeah, there you go. Davis Strait, 1587 to 1987. 50% silver. And all the other nice proof coins. Yeah, I'm liking it. And we got one more to go. And this is a 1981. Again, a proof set. Case is in nice shape. And look at there. What do we got? We got the choo-choo train. 1981, 50% proof silver. Awesome coins, man. Awesome coins. And like I say, these sets here, well, not the proof like sets, but but the proof sets themselves, I paid anywhere from five to Five to nine dollars less than original price, so I'm happy with the purchase. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hey, hit the subscribe button if you want. Hit the like button. I'd appreciate it. All right, folks. Take care. Stay safe. Until next time. Ciao for now.